Okay, so this example, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to solve. If I ask you to solve cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x equals 0, you've got a couple choices. Um, you could recognize that this is the double angle formula for cosine, so you could immediately say cosine of 2x equals 0, because this is cosine of 2x. Or, another way to do it, um, you could replace sine squared with 1 minus cosine squared, sorry, 1 minus cosine squared, using a Pythagorean identity. Distribute your negative, and you'll get 2 cosine squared of x minus 1 equals 0. So cosine squared of x would have to be positive 1 half. And then you could solve each of these equations accordingly. So I'm going to pause this for a minute. I'm going to solve them each, and then I'll come back and talk about them so I don't run out of time. Okay, in our first example, we ran into some issues. Uh, the angle in our first example is 2x. And so if cosine is 0, cosine is 0 at pi over 2 or 3 pi over 2. So 2x has to be pi over 2 um, or 3 pi over 2 or any multiples of any additional multiples of 2 pi. So since they were separated by an angle of pi on each side, I could start with my pi over 2 here, and I could just add multiples of pi to that, not 2 pi, and that would give me the top point and the bottom point. Okay? So I start with that, then I divide both sides by 2. When I divide pi over 2 by 2, I get pi over 4. k pi divided by 2 is k pi over 2. Then I wanted to combine these with a common denominator. So I multiplied the second fraction, top and bottom, by 2 to give me a 4 on the bottom. And I end up with this as my all my angles, all my x values. Over here, um, I distributed. We, I believe we were down to here before I paused it. Then I take the square root of both sides. Don't forget to do the plus or minus. The square root of 1 on top is 1. Then I rationalize my denominator here to give me square root of 2 over 2. So I looked at where cosine is positive square root of 2 over 2. Well, cosine is positive square root of 2 over 2 here and here. And then I looked at where cosine is negative square root of 2 over 2, and that's here and here. So I ended up with those four points, each of which is separated by an angle of exactly pi over 2, right? They're all 90 degrees apart, or pi over 2 radians apart. So what I did was I started with pi over 4, and I added multiples of k multiples of pi over 2 to get all of these points. Now the question is, are these two things the same? Well, sure they are. Um, let's work on this second one a little bit. Let's, uh, let's take this guy and get a common, let's rewrite it as pi over 4 plus uh, k is over 1. So I can say pi times k over 2. Common denominator to add these is 4, so I'd multiply top and bottom by 2. And we end up with pi plus 2k pi on top, right? Because pi times k times 2 is 2k pi all over the common denominator of 4. And that's exactly the same thing we have over here. So either way you do it, uh, you get the exact same answer. You get all the exact same angles. Uh, but, you know, we have a couple different ways to do it. Over here you have a multiple angle. Over here you've got a plus or minus, so you've got to keep track of all of it. And there are other ways to do this as well. So I just want to show you that there are multiple ways to solve a trigonometric equation using various identities. The first one, we recognized that this whole thing was the double angle formula for cosine. The second one, we took the sine squared and replaced it with 1 minus cosine squared. So again, identities were used here, and there may be other ways to do it as well.